I think about the people that we serve. I have seen so many people that, you know, could have been my brother or my sister or my parents. It can happen to anyone. And so that's what people need to understand about being homeless. It can happen to anyone at any time. Before OPCC, my life was dark. I spent seven years uh, with a man literally trying to kill me on a regular basis. I've been on the streets for almost 30 years. Left the house at the age of 14. By 15, I was a full-blown full heroin addict. I got in injured on a job, and simultaneously, I had lost my um, housing. I guess I was depressed and didn't even know it. After I lost my mother, I guess I didn't care. I didn't know what to do with myself. So, like I say, drugs and alcohol became my best friend. Every person that we serve was born into a family. They were someone's son or daughter at some point. And something, or usually some combination of things, went terribly wrong in their life. OPCC is really a refuge from the streets for our most vulnerable and traumatized neighbors. What I appreciate the most about OPCC is I truly felt I could rest my head and relax. My body hadn't relaxed for months. They actually were there to help me. They weren't there to look into my life and find out what I'm up to, like my paranoid mind would always tell me. I never thought in my life that there would be anybody who would help me, especially in the position I was in, being a drug addict and being who I was. But yet, they were there for me in every, every aspect of my life. What I appreciate about OPCC is that it saved my life. I have potential. Even at 62, um, life is like beginning, it's like starting over. My life is starting over because of OPCC. That was the first time that I had really, in a really long time, been treated like a human being. It helped to give me the confidence in myself to work harder and to realize that I did deserve another chance and that I could do better. We really have to look at the whole person and work with them to establish whatever it is they need in their life. A lot of people come in here with blinders on because they've been so beaten down. But there's so much to see. And they just, just stop, breathe, be thankful, look around, and then move forward. I would tell someone that was thinking about reaching out to OPCC that it is the most positive experience of my life. The tools that they will get there will help them to be sustainably in their own housing for the rest of their lives. There's a way out, you know, there's a way out. The whole time they were teaching me about the drug programs, alcohol programs, you never, you never want to go to them up until you start going to them. And if you're finally tired, this is the way to do it. Don't give up on yourself. Just believe in yourself and, you know, do what's right and you can make it. When I think about it, the goodness and the grace and the, you know, and what I've been through and the blessings that I've had, I can't help but cry, you know, and that's my story. Scene one, take four, marking. a political kind of girl ba -doom, ba -doom, doom -doom. but sometimes you gotta look outside your own world oh, yeah. sometimes you don't like what you see why are people always thinking of themselves I am guilty of this and I'm trying to change myself, boy, yeah. It's only as hard as you make it, oh, yeah. We can live for peace, or we can show what we can. We can beat the odds, or we can change the world. Oh, oh yeah, la da 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 da. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right.